Hello and welcome to the 2023 edition of Kuri K9 Massages, 12 Adoptable Pets of the Holiday Season. Today I have with me Katarina from the Annex Cat Rescue. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. And please tell me a little bit about yourself and the Annex Cat Rescue. Sure thing. So my name is Katarina. I volunteer for the foster coordination team at Annex Cat Rescue. I've been with them for almost two years now. So you do, you might recognize me from last year. <laughs> um, so let me tell you all about Annex Cat Rescue. So Annex Cat Rescue was founded in 1997 in the Annex neighborhood of Toronto, but it has grown to service all uh, of Toronto. All of the cats you see at Annex Cat Rescue were formerly street cats, so we help the street cats of Toronto find a safe, warm home indoors and get them away from the dangers of outdoor life, such as disease, the brutal cold, cars, predators, etc. Annex Cat Rescue is a not-for-profit organization. We receive no government funding, and we are fully funded by our generous donors. We are entirely volunteer-run. And we have dozens of volunteers that help with various aspects of the rescue, including foster coordination like myself, interviewing adopters, managing donations, etc. And we have lots and lots of foster parents that take care of foster cats. We don't have a shelter. We don't have a physical building that we operate out of. All of our cats are in uh, foster care, of which there are over 100 cats that we currently have in foster care, with more to come always. Uh, foster care is a really great way to get to know the cat's personalities and needs, whether it be a medical or lifestyle need, in order to better understand what kind of home would be suitable for them. When it comes to adopting one of our cats, if you see any that you are interested in, um, we um, you can contact uh, the adoptions team at annexcatrescue.ca slash adopt slash adoptable dash cats. Um, we could provide a link for that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so when it comes to adopting, our adoption fee is very modest. It ranges from between $100 to $250, depending on the age of the cat and the special needs of the cat. Obviously, older cats or cats with special needs are a little bit discounted. Yeah. Um, our fee is quite modest, and it doesn't cover all of our expenses. When you adopt a cat from us, this cat has been thoroughly vetted to ensure its welfare, especially as they've transitioned to life indoors. Um, and these cats are all vaccinated, microchipped, dewormed, defleed, as well as spayed and neutered. So it's a lot going on there, a lot more expensive than $250. Um, if you're interested in adopting a cat, we do have a strict policy that all our cats remain indoors, as we don't want cats to end up outdoors again. That kind of defeats the purpose of us helping out the street cats. Um, we have about two dozen or so cats currently available for adoption, including the ones that we will be highlighting today. Um, so please contact our adoptions team through the contact form on our website. We've got lots of cats at various ages from kittens, young adults, seniors, and some cats that also have medical but manageable issues. And the great thing about Annex Cat Rescue is that we are giving these cats a second chance at life where they can know the safety and security of a loving home. All right, you've got two cats for me today, right? Yes, we have a bonded pair here, um, Abraham Simpson and Jasper Beardley, named after the Simpsons characters. <laughs> so Abraham is the orange tabby and Jasper is the black cat. Um, these two seniors are 10-year-old males and they're a bonded pair, which means that they are inseparable. They love to wrestle and play with each other, and they are just happiest in each other's presence. They actually came from an outdoor colony where they just happened to become BFFs. And when we brought them into uh, foster care, you know, they were just inseparable. There was no way that we could separate them because they're just each other's best friends. Jasper the Black Cat is more outgoing than Abraham. Abe does tolerate human presence and, um, you know, not as much as Jasper does. Jasper does allow some petting. Um, from humans and a little bit more attention in that regard so you know it's kind of like one's a little bit more socialized than the other um, Abe and Jasper do need to be adopted together by an adopter who's patient and understanding about the fact that these are cats that have spent their entire lives outdoors and kind of need a little bit of time to really warm up into the home that they're in you can see from the photos that they've gotten really cozy in their foster home claiming the couch as their own as well as the bookshelf, as you can see. 
Um, and so it would be great to get an adopter who's willing to continue the socialization process. These guys are in good health for right now, and they're doing really well together in their foster home. So we just like to see them get a good home together. Well, they're beauties. Thank you so much, Katerina, for joining me today and for featuring Annex Cat Rescue Cats. Thank you so much for your time. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>